Greetings. I came across this Moorish movement and it's 1910. It's speaking about the so-called Spanish throne is tottering through the wall of government censorship that hymns in Spain tonight. There reaps news indicating that Spain is in dire straits and that the government is tottering. From Madrid comes news of wild scenes in the Senate and administrative climax that is practically beyond control. This is not a very long article, but I'm going to try to pull as much details as we can from it. It's long. Spain's throne is tottering to disaster. Stragglers from the provinces bring tales of rioting and pillage there. Wild scenes in Senate. Moorish movement is to be pushed to take minds of people off execution. October 16, 1909. Through the wall of government censorship that hymns in Spain tonight, there reaps news indicating that Spain is in dire straits and that the government is tottering. From Madrid comes news of wild scenes in the Senate and an administrative climax that is practically beyond control. Stragglers from the provinces bring tales of rioting, pillage, and court martial. Messages from Madrid declare that the populace is learning slowly of the worldwide protests that followed the execution of Francisco Ferrer. In the Senate today, under the most vigorous interpellations, the foreign secretary admitted the government was in receipt of detailed accounts of the anti-Spanish demonstrations from the ambassadors all over the world. So I guess they was taken up for the Moors. In making the admission, however, the secretary indignantly declared the government will brook no interference with the its actions in this crisis and that no change in its policies need to be expected. Amid the wild disorder that followed his declaration, Senator Diaz, Moro, and Darla, Moro, with others in the opposition, shouted their condemnations of the government and buried a flood of invectives at the cabinet, declaring the government to be the real anarchist and demanding that the cabinet resign immediately. The Senate adjourned with the numbers all on their feet shouting wildly. Direct news from the province is almost unobtainable, but stragglers from the province in Catalonia arriving tonight declare that section of the country is ablaze with rioting and pillage. Innumerable mighty bomb outrages and shootings are reported from the outlying districts. General Santiago is taking drastic measures to stamp out the fires and revolution that fanned by the depth of Ferrer, blaze more fiercely every day. Under a carte blanche from the cabinet, Santiago has summoned a series of court marshals to clear off the batches of prisoners that are crowding the jails. A message from Madrid tonight declares the cabinet today sent orders to General Mariana in charge of the campaign in Morocco to begin an aggressive movement at once. This, the administration hopes, will take the execution of Ferrer from the minds of the people and allow things to quiet down. So basically, they dropped the world on them and they ended up giving them what they wanted. They wanted Moorish and that's what they got. Now, what they did with it from then, who knows? But I know this has to connect because nine years earlier, the 1901 Moorish mission, you know, they was wanting Moorish. They was wanting the truth. But as the studies came out, the 1901 Moorish mission, there was conflict between the blood of brothers, you know, Aziz, Mule Hafid, ETC. Indeed, the few did at least. The rest was willing to get compromised and get colonized. They want to ride around in Benzes and wear Jordan shoes, you know. It's not, I mean, I'm not saying it's wrong to wear Jordan shoes, but to show them off like they're of wealth, that's one thing. But if I get some Jordans, it's because I, when I feel the bottom of the soles and I push in and I feel they're weak and I go through all the different shoes, the one that's made the best is usually the one I get. And sometimes it may be a Jordan. But yeah, they're willing to be colonized, man. That's the problem. The many is willing to get compromised real easy for crumbs. So let's go. Let's go through a few Moorish news clips for you. Moors coming to New York. This is Mule Hafid. This is like 1901 or 1910, around that. Gibraltar, September 18th. Three Moorish commissioners who will represent Mule Hafid, the Sultan of Morocco, at the Hudson Fulton celebration, left here today on board the steamer Canopy, which is due at Boston September 27th. Now, when you go to the top of the platform and you see the Moorish sovereign edict recognizing U.S. banner, 
It said the first representative of the Moorish government, and they went to St. Louis, and they have the Ali Molas, or the Mules, is the Shriners there, and they have a turkey wearing a fez, and he's sitting on top of a European eating his face off. Then they have like three Shriners holding a mason with a bow tie, and they're tarring them and feathering them. They're, they're pouring hot tar on them. And he's like bent back and he's getting it scold, He's getting scolded. So the conclusion of my studies, St. Louis is very important to the Moors. But also Coney Island because we have C. Ali, who they were speaking of being the first Moorish American citizen in Coney Island. You know, he was, he was an elder and he said he went to the White House. And he had an image of President Grant on his wall. And he said he went to the White House and met his wife and everything. Said she was a country woman, quote unquote. Then I was hearing Grand Sheik speak about Peter Moon, speaking about Noble Drali went to the White House in regards to the Moorish flag and all of that. Then he was speaking about you go to the White House and declare your nationality and you're free. Noble Drali said if you don't do anything, you know, proclaim and declare your nationality. But also in regards to St. Louis, you know, Noble Drali spoke about Missouri and he spoke about the Mississippi River. The Moorish Camp, one of the most unique spots prepared for the wedding feats, is the historic field on which the Moors camped, now transformed into gardens, rivaling the famed gardens of Versailles. Recently, 50,000 trees have been planted of various varieties, 1,000 palm trees, and 15,000 rose bushes of every known species. The camp was first laid out as a garden by Philip II. So that's the colonizer, just like the Philippines when there was the Moros. And was for the time the resort of many celebrities, such as Lupe de Vega and Calderon. Although allowed to go to wreck and ruin in recent years, there still remains some fine statuary, including the Triton Fountain, subject of one of the Velasquez pictures. This is the first time any effort has been made to turn it to account as one of the notable adornments of Madrid. See, man, they take it. They bury it. They don't even preserve it. Moore's situation regarded critical. Tribesmen cry for the blood of Christian, Jews, and foreigners. I was going to do the reading on that full article, but I'm kind of tired of going through the newspapers and seeing Moors going through adversity. You know, like Europeans being openly in the newspapers talking about they dropping bombs on Moors' heads and all kinds of craziness. I'm tired of seeing the adversity, you know. But in regards to this Moorish movement 1910, the conclusion, I'm going to have to go and cross-reference and go through. I would like to find those Senate records or hearings. It was October of 1910, so I'll zone in. And try to get the minutes off what was going on, what all they was getting pissed off about. Yes, they was colonizing the Moorish Empire and all that. I know they was mad about that. But what I'm saying is there's a protocol. Like I was speaking about, C. Ali went to the White House, Noble Ali went to the White House. Like there's a protocol where they should have enough honor to distinguish a Moor from a Negro, Black, Colored, White, whoever, stateless persons. And they should respect that and honor it. They got enough. They got enough in their hand to eat off of all these zombies. So when a Moor walks through or someone who stands with national standards comes through, why are they still violating them? Like they that greedy? They are eating enough. Get all these books in your life because now is the time. Now is the time. You gonna do it later on? You gonna figure out? You forgot? And you gonna be like, damn, what was that? All? Uh, what was that book called again? You gonna figure out? You forgot? They say man knows not by being told, the pages unfold I study, 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 national principles gold Still the fiat they hold, reaching and clinging for de facto To save they soul, save they soul I know my destiny as above, so below Read Gnosis off with the dial, plates blinding me as it glow High shimmer, had amnesia, now I remember Got the message from Drew Ali, so there was no return to sender Figure out you forgot, figure out you forgot What's it called again? What we study a lot It's the Moorish Quran and it's filled full of eye Study, 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 you can stay on top, top, top You can stay on top, top, top You gon' figure out you forgot You can stay on top, top, top Get all these books in your life because now is the time Now is the time